what we did was we dug this out, right? And the pipe that was in there, which it was under, what came out of there, was uh, broke off. Where was it broke off at? Right there. Right here. So it was it's broken off like right at the building. Yep. Okay, so that's much closer. And, uh, and so we're gonna run PVC from here to here. And that's our pipe right over there, right? Absolutely. And uh, the old pipe's right behind you. And this is the old pipe here. You can see on that other end there, where, that's where it sheared off. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal, huh? So uh, will we save money now because we didn't have to go under the slab? I would imagine. A little bit, yeah. That and, um... Plus it's only one, it's one day job. What's that thing that you're standing on right there? I don't know. <laughs> well, don't break it. <laughs> Process how you do it. So this is Admiral Plumbing and they came out and we had a backup uh, to the toilets and it wasn't uh, inside of the building, but it was at this break right here, right? So you guys, what exactly did you guys have to do? So what we did is we removed the sheared off section, which was the section from opening to opening that you see here. After we got that section removed, we went through with our descaling machine, which is right next to you with those chains with the carbide teeth and ground out all of the rust scale, the grease, the calcium, anything that was in there that shouldn't have been was removed with that machine and then re flushed out using our jetter. So this thing here, you pumped it in this way here yes. and then that way, that way? So we went in from here all the way up to the toilets. Okay. We used our jetter at a low pressure not to damage the pipe uh -huh. and went up and down this one several times. So this goes out to the, out to the, out to the road. This, out the road. this is in worse shape than that. So we didn't want to run the risk of cracking it, cracking it. Right. But this, this you guys got through there. No problem. Cleaned it all out. And this thing here runs all the way up and you've got what looks like about 50, you know, feet. 50 feet of it. Uh -huh. And so that just cleans the pipe out. So we should have a really good flow now. Oh yeah. All right, cool. All right, um, that's Tally from Admiral Plumbing. This is his buddy. Pedro. <laughs> Pedro. Look, we got something's working there. Yeah, he's draining his tub. Oh, okay, so that's, so you're seeing the water come out. Mm -hmm. So that looks like it's flowing, huh? Oh yeah, now every, everything's flowing good now. That's important. And she's, and she's got her toilet pulled in here, huh? Let's go take a look at that. He didn't have to pull his. Did you, she get a new toilet? Did you get a new, did you get a, yeah, get a new toilet? I, yeah, yeah, because I wanted to get a comfort height one. I remember so let's see what's going on in here. How's it going in here? So this is all cleared out now. Yep. And um, you, you guys are gonna put a new toilet in there for us. All right, nice. Might as well do it since you're <laughs> here. Go. Might as well have a new one put in, right? And we're digging her out. This is gonna be a good video. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all that water. Look at that mud. There's gotta be some feces in there. Oh, just a little I'm bit. I'm surprised, I bet your immune systems are like unbelievable. I would hope so at <laughs> this point. Make sure you don't have any cuts or anything on your hands. No. It's hard work though, I'll tell you that much. What the hell is that? Ugh. It's going a rag I dropped in our room. Oh, that's a rag. It's not something that came out of there, I hope. No. Yeah, so we had a couple plumbing issues, you know, 10 years back. Mm -hmm. And I had uh, I had this uh, this one back here that the water was draining straight down into the ground. You didn't see the water. And it was coming right out of, a, out of her pipes. And uh, so the, I got a bill from the water company. It was 2,000 bucks. So I knew something was wrong. So I got a shovel and I dug under the thing. And luckily that one was only about four feet in and I found it. Oh, and it was shooting out like a fire hose. So we plugged that thing, and, and then we had another one underneath the uh, the laundry room in the back, which was a pretty nasty one. And that one, I hired some guys to dig it out because it's too scary crawling under there. Oh, yeah. Looks pretty good, pretty deep. So look at that cockroach, holy shit. So um, so this has got a, pr a f fairly decent pitch, it looks like, coming off the building. Oh, it's got a lot of pitch. Yeah, so we're, it should we're actually, flow. We're gonna have to uh, put some fittings in there yeah. to jog it up because if we try and go straight from here to there that pipe is in the way yeah you're not going to get it right yeah oh yeah that pipe's right there what the fuck is that i don't i don't know how it was is ever... that a gas pipe it could be 
Holy shit. If, if it were gas, it should be about <laughs> about two foot deep on the ground. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. You know, this building was made in 1946. Yeah. So who knows? Yeah, back then they kind of did whatever they wanted. We don't even know. I don't even know what that is. I mean, that could be a water line. Could be an old original water main, yeah. You certainly don't want to cut it with your saw, no. just in case. Nope. What we have is uh, they snake this baby down through your pipe, and you can see it's a camera. And so they can see what's going on down there with this. And it rolls all the way through, and... Um, then you can do a good diagnosis of what exactly your problem is. That's what they did the first day they came. Looks like they did it again today. That thing's pretty pretty easily prone to interference from, from other things. Well, there's a lot of metal down there. Yeah. So this, we're going to put, um, you got like a rubber thing that's going to go on that elbow. And then that's going to uh, connect to the two different uh, pipe, pieces of pipe. So he's getting it all set here putting it on and that's going to go on there and he's going to put a couple of those clamps around it super tight and then we got to put another elbow on it huh yeah so we got to poke that baby there in here they got everything you could possibly think of that you would need for a job like this i hope <laughs> right mm -hmm. we're just having a little vodka right now in cranberry and uh, yeah shit ready oh look you got a sledgehammer we can beat the shit out of that thing all right let's go over and check it out All right, so we got glue, we're gonna need that. We got PVC, we got clamps, we got gloves, we got a big sledgehammer, we're gonna shred it. This is fun for me. <laughs> You're getting paid though. All right, so what kind of glue is that? That's a, it's just a regular clear glue, but we use a primer, which actually softens up the pipe to let the glue adhere better. Okay, it's kind of like the stuff that that we used on the pool pump, I think it's blue. And though, is that is it like a two stage, or you just put what just the blue part on? Uh, well, the the primer's purple, the glue is clear. Oh, okay. So you use both, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, in this instance, we will. Excellent. Extra clamps we're going to need. Those are heavy duty ones. Got to loosen them up. We're going to use one of those. Uh, what do you call that tool? Nut driver. Nut driver. Nut driver city limits. To loosen those. Then he's gonna slip that over the uh, pipe. Oh, that's interesting. So that, that one's gonna go on like that. And so you don't need a really big, oh, I see. And then that goes over it. And then he's going to clamp that down on there. And it looks like you get, luckily we just got just enough pipe without having to crack out that concrete. Right. I mean, that would have been a nightmare, huh? Oh, yeah. That's like with these buildings, whenever you start to do any kind of project, you never know what you're going to get into because it's, and this concrete is freaking hard. Oh yeah. I sawed a bunch out with a, with this, with the concrete saw. And then I pounded a bunch out with a, with a sledgehammer, man, it's really hard. Mm -hmm. A lot of rebar too in it. Right. All rusted and, and who knows what's in the concrete from back in 1946. Oh yeah. It's probably got asbestos and everything else in it. Oh, I'm <laughs> sure. Yeah, back, back then they had a different, uh, different recipe for concrete for sure. So this one here, we just gonna, you only really need those two hard clamps on it. And, uh, and then we're gonna slide that baby in there. And that's gonna enable him to get underneath this uh, pipe because it's brought it down a little bit farther. Mm -hmm. And so you gotta glue that one, right? Yeah, so what I'm just doing now is I'm dry fitting everything. So you can... So I can get my measurements, make sure it's gonna work, and then we'll, we'll glue it all together and get it figured out. Uh, get it put back in anyways. So you get the pattern down first right. before you you know make anything permanent. Right. Smart move. That's really smart. I would have already glued it and have been fucked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd have been like, ah oh, shit. I gotta go get another pipe from Home Depot. Oh yeah. Measuring here. Huh? He's got a two-way clean out his brain, huh? So we need that so that it comes up and you can I guess have access to that pipe by having a uh, entry point at the surface. 
So he, now he's gonna measure it out, make sure he gets the right number of inches. <laughs> Measure this, and then we're going to cut it. Pause all. It's used for sawing all. And done. Just gets all the little pieces off. That's important. Now we got to see if it fits. He's going to first kind of set it all together first, just to make like the puzzle. See how it works. Make sure it all fits good so he doesn't have to do double cuts. I think it's what, measure twice, cut once, or cut twice, measure, one, don't measure, just let's eyeball it. Yeah, just eyeball it. So there he's got that idea there. So he knows how far he's going there. And then he's got to... So now you gotta figure your angle there, huh? Yeah. The first glue up, it's getting close. I'm not sure, I think if you smell this stuff, it's probably not good for you. <laughs> That'll make you see funny things. Do you get high off it? Well, I'm sure you could. <laughs> I bet. So you put it on both surfaces, I guess. Yeah. And that's the primer. And do you have to put a d another glue on there or? Yeah, we do uh, glue over top of the primer. Okay, so that has to set or dry? Nope. Oh, it's ready to go then, huh? So then you do the second stage, which is putting the glue on. I'm gonna make sure that's nice and tight, flip it back around. And of course the glue is gonna be, you know, stuck. <laughs> well, I can smell it up here, it's strong. Okay, so he did the primer, now he's putting the glue on. He's gotta get it on the inside too. And that's gonna make a super good seal. Then we're gonna slide her in. And we're gonna see, make sure it fits. He's gotta get it. How many seconds do you have before it adheres? It's already adhered. Oh, so you're already, you're locked in at that yeah. position. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so make sure you, you know where you want it before you do that. Yeah. From what I understand. Learn and plumbing here at uh, Delray Beach, Casa Del Mar on Casarina Street. The little piece that's gonna go between those two elbows, I believe that's what we're doing, right? Yep. So it looks like we're getting about seven or eight inches. He's trying to figure it to the other side because he's gotta keep an idea for over here because he's gotta put that one joint on. So we're gonna, gonna mark her over here. We're gonna saw her with that sawzall. Gonna eyeball it. And then afterwards, he's gonna brush all those little pieces off because he wants to get a nice clean edge on it. I'm imagining, I'm just kind of guessing because I'm not a professional plumber, but I do play one on television. All right, excellent. Now we gotta do the glue thing again, I think. I'm guessing. First, we're gonna see if it fits. No, oh, I guess we're going right for it. You know it's right, so that's what I'm figuring. So now we're gonna put on the primer, and then we're gonna put the glue on. On both sides because it's going to go in two pieces, two elbows that are connect to the straight pipe. And then we 
got to get the glue on there. And the glue is very strong. You work with this stuff every day, don't you? Not every day, pretty close. What do you think the number one thing that you do is as a plumber? Besides these big jobs like this? Probably uh, water heaters and stoppages. Oh, water heaters for sure. Yeah, those are, those are. I always thought like, you know, like plumbing, when somebody's toilet backs up, man, they're willing to pay anything. And when somebody's AC goes out, they're willing to pay anything, mm -hmm. you know? It, that's that's always a good, you know, and it's always gonna go out. Yeah, nothing lasts forever. That's for sure. All right, we're looking good, man. I'll send you this too, dude. I'll edit it and I'll send it. I send you a copy of it to your email, and you can use it. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you do? Yeah, I do. I do videos. Oh, okay. I do how usually I do it myself. I just like I figure try to figure out how to do it, and then I you know and I make a lot of mistakes, so it's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, and then I do like you know little voice overlays, and I have a bunch of them. What do you do? Upload them to YouTube? Yeah, put them in YouTube. I get a YouTube channel. I've been doing it for about fifteen years. Oh no, kidding! Yeah, damn. You make money at it. You get good views, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was watching one not that long ago. They were trying to uh, figure out what certain people on there make, people that have just some ridiculous number of views. It's um, they, You make about um, $100 for every, um, $1,000 for every million views. Oh, wow. That's pretty much the, I mean, the benchmark on it. But some things get more views. So, like, when I first started, I was doing extreme sports and um, nobody else was doing those videos that was back in like 2006 7 and they didn't have a way to monetize it until probably 2008 i think well, and uh and those worked really well at first but then you know then everybody got into it you know and um so then i went to how-to videos <laughs> and that's what this oh we forgot something we need our measuring stick never leave home without your ruler all right, so now we got to figure out what that distance is going to be this way to that. So if you put that there, I'm getting a rough estimation. Damn. Okay. So it looks like we got to make another cut. So seven years, that's a long time, huh? Oh, uh, just for this company, yeah. So how old were you when you started? 14. Wow. Hey, Drew, you wanna grab me a battery? They're on the charger inside the truck. Yeah. In a row. The rest is history. One thing led to another, and I'm still here. And now you run the place. <laughs> so now we got exactly what we need to put to finish this baby right here. It's my yummy so I can guess myself. Oh shit! Sorry. Now I'm learning how to do it. You can smell it's really strong. Is your toilet done? No, not yet. They didn't have to pull his. I know, it's messy. That saved uh that's, that's good. Yeah, that saved a lot of uh extra hassle.
So this was fixed once before, but they didn't fix it properly. Yeah. Or maybe it just broke off because it was fixed at the other end. It was tied in over there. So this was probably screwed up. But at least we got it all, we got it all snaked out. It's all been scaled. And um, shit, we're almost done, man. Look, look how close we are. Nice drop there, too. Yeah. It's got a good pitch. Gonna bring it up just a tad. And basically, this is his company now. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's, he's been there for seven years. Without him, that play, the thing would stand still. I think that's what everybody tells themselves, huh? Why not? Why not? They got you doing it. I mean, the big job, so you must be like the best guy there. Everybody that works here has got their own uh, specialities. Specialities. So we put on the primer, then we put on the glue, and we smush it all together. I did this for uh, for my pool pump, but it wasn't like it wasn't this. It was only like one pipe. <laughs> wasn't too hard. This right here is going to be so you have access to it. So there's a little cap that yeah, goes on. Oh, well, I don't know what that is. We were, we were speculating what that was. Hopefully, it's not like a gas pipe or something. Very well, could be a gas line. So now he's making sure it's nice and level, even with the surface. As you can see, we're slowly getting getting there. We're almost there. We just got another foot of pipe to put in there. Very close. He's going to put a little dirt underneath it, I think, to uh, kind of build it up a little bit tighter so it's, uh, it's going to set with that uh, other pipe. He's going to pull it up and kind of smush it around. You need a 14-year-old uh, apprentice, like when you were, to come and do this, do the dirt work. Yeah. yeah no, I mean, because you could, you could pay a kid, you know, pretty cheap. I guess you got to pay a minimum wage. <laughs> well, kids nowadays don't want to do this either. If it ain't Dude, I tried to get somebody to work for 15 desk. bucks, they wouldn't do it. Yeah. I was like, well, like when I was, I my first job was a dollar twenty-five an hour mm -hmm. hauling cases to pop when you first got your job seven years ago as a 14 year old what did they pay you minimum wage or seven seven something an hour that's not bad for 14 mm -hmm. that's pretty good really i mean you can make some good money that's good money for a 14 year old kid well, no all right so now we're going to put this thing on there where's our glue at there it is And we got to do a little measure. So this baby's going to go there. And it looks like we got about uh, six or seven inches. We got to cut. He's got a little piece right there. Might fit. That one piece is just a little bit too big. <laughs> People don't know how important that is to it. Happens. I'd rather do this than that, but so we got to cut another very, piece. off and ready to rock. That baby's going right in there. Look how fast you did this. I mean, we did this in like a half hour. I mean, you did. <laughs> I watched. And more of the glue and foundation. I put the, uh, you got the outline wrenches? Those need to go inside of that. You want? Yeah, put it in here. Put some on there. This is the tricky part because you got to kind of smush it in there, huh? Yeah.
That's on there. With a little bit of glue dripping out. All right, here we go. This is the moment of truth. Drum roll. Get some of the extra junk out of there that kind of got in there when he was digging. But for the most part, that pipe's been, been roto rootered out. Not to name a competitor, but that's what they call it, roto rooter Getting close, very close. And then we're gonna get it right in there. Interesting, so he's pulling that back so that he can then flap it over on top. And that one there, he's got super loose. So once this goes on with the glue, man, that's done. This is it. Moment of truth. Here we go. Jamming it in. Looks like we're, looks like we're good. Oh, yeah. Now this one he's got completely taken apart and he's going to wrap it over it and then feed him through and bolt it down. This is an important area to be sealed. It's all brand new except for the 100 year old pipe under there. should have came earlier because I'd like to have seen that break the, out of that uh, thing. The other part we do with the machine that he scales, it's really interesting. That would be cool. When they took it apart. Oh, nice. Send that to me. I Email that to me. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, definitely awesome. e email that to me. I'm going to oh, use the, that. The picture of the offset. Yeah, that yeah. thing was way off there. Oh, yeah. No wonder it wasn't working. All right, looking good, man. How's she feeling? Good? Tight? Yeah. Tight like a taiga? Sweet. We're also just going to go ahead and crank these two bad boys down. Make sure that they're on there good. I don't want any leaks. I mean, I think this is going to work 100% better now. We shouldn't have any problems, huh? Right. Now, do you have to put, oh yeah, I see what you're doing there. So you gotta bring that up. You don't really have to go too far though, do you? To bring it up? Yeah. yeah. Looks like it's a couple inches. Yeah. Yeah, it was flowing out pretty good. So you use the bigger bigger one or the smaller one? 
Or the bigger one. <laughs> and then that thing we'll be able to see. Yeah, the uh, clean out cap. It's got a little, see the little screw uh, things where you screw it in there, I guess. Just put the top on. Right on. Oh, is it the glue running down that I just dumped everywhere? I don't know. I guess we test it out and see if everything's, uh, before we, all right, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. So that's good. And that's all hooked in. Looks good. We just got to fill her all up. That is the sprinkler system there, I guess. And, uh, then we just put that cap on the top and that's it. And that's your access point. Then you got to fill it back in with dirt. Huh? I'm going to go look at this thing over here. So how did you guys cut this out with that, uh, or it just broke off? It was broke. Oh, this was already just broken, huh? Well, look at that thing. That's 1945. That's how old that is. Oh, it's, it's flying still. Is it? Yeah, that's what I've got my level for. Oh. Now all we got to do is bury it. <laughs> Pedro, you know this is going in your van, right? <laughs> Oh, butterfly. Oh, nice. So here we go. All we got to do is put the dirt in. We're ready. Do we need to do any other testing? Or I guess we're done, huh? No, the whole time he was in there, he had water running. When he was oh, was in there. just running water, right? <laughs> now, this is a brand new toilet. He put it in. He put the water closet in. He put the bottom in. He, he caulked it really nice. A lot of guys don't do that. Got the water back on. It's working perfect. No more problems, right? Right. Woo! You think they did a good job? They did an excellent job. All and right. they came quickly and they Would you recommend them? them? Absolutely. <laughs> you just gotta put that dirt on top and we'll be good. <laughs> yeah, a couple times I came and I was I smelled like something bad. I was like, what is that? Did you smell? Yeah. I could smell the sewage. When he opened it up it was all wet and laying there. It was a cold. Oh was gosh. So these guys don't really have to go to a gym. No. I was thinking about doing a new CrossFit. We just have them come to the jobs and have the people do all this work for you. Oh yeah. And then charge them 30 bucks a month. Yeah. That ain't a bad idea. They want to go out there and hit tires with sledgehammers and stuff. I know, it's crazy. I'm pushing around a giant truck tire. Why? I pick something heavy up, I put it down. Do we have to look through it with the camera again, or are we all done with that? Because that would be fun to do. We got the, the videos we're going to send you the before and after videos. Oh, do that, yeah. Send it to me. You got my email, right? Yeah. Just getting everything put away. Well, so did you use that anything on that truck over there? That's our jetter. Oh, what's that do? That's what uh, jet cleans the inside of the pipe after we grind everything out. Did you use that? Yeah. Oh, so you jet cleaned it and you ground it. Right. And that just goes right into the sewage. Yeah. Sweet. All right. I'm... It's good to have young, strong men doing this kind of work. So that's it. We really don't have any any other things that we have to do then today, right? Mm -hmm.
Nope, I think everybody decided against the epoxy coating for now, so yeah. this, will, this will be it for now. Yeah, because the epoxy coating is expensive. Yeah. yeah, the epoxy coating for you guys. It's like 13 grand. So what does the epoxy coat do? It's a two-part epoxy similar to... It, the closest thing I can compare it to is like a JB weld, like a two-part epoxy. Oh, okay. But it's an industrial version of it. It's resistant to acid, uh, temperatures, pretty much anything that should go down a drain, is it's not going to hurt it. Okay, so that just coats the very interior of the whole pipe. Yeah. All right. And then after we killed the guy, we just buried him under the slab. Those are, uh, it's like a vine. Good idea that you can use. You get a big tarp and you put the dirt on the tarp. It makes it much easier for you to uh, put it back in the hole. So, note to self, tarp. Just makes you happy because we didn't mess your ass up that bad. Right, too. The customers, yeah, customers like, oh my God. Plus, you guys cut that that uh, plant out perfectly. Practice. You've done that a lot. <laughs> How many jobs like this do you do a week? Three. Two, two, or three. two or three things like this. What's the hardest thing you guys have ever done? Crawl spaces. Oh my God, crawl spaces! Forget about it. I don't like that. I'm gonna say that last thing we dug through the shell rock. Oh yeah, no, that was horrible. Yeah. How was that? It's the sewer line replacement. Oh my god. But it was just the whole place was nothing but shell rock. Really? Yeah. Oh shit! How do you do that? Pickaxe. Pickaxe and a chipping hammer. <laughs> I was gonna say you need a you need a some type of breaker. And then how do you price something like that? And when you find out you got you got that, that kind of changes everything. Yeah, we uh, I missed missed the mark on the pricing on that one pretty bad by not knowing what we were digging through. That can really screw up the job your job. It's supposed to be a two day job. It took us a week. Oh my god. And the the way our company works is typically we're uh. They pay you like percentage, or they pay you. Well, no, we're hourly, but the way we price out jobs is um, if I give you a price, that, that's what the price is going to be. Yeah. If we run across the problem. You still, you don't charge them more. Right. Together. Yeah, this is not your basic plumbing stuff here. Mm -hmm. Have you done a lot of stuff for Lee? The Coens? That's me, one of the guy that owns this? Me, myself, I haven't. Oh, because they have a bunch of properties in Delray. Yeah, if, if the company has, we, we've got 30 something technicians now, so. Oh, okay, so. But we want you guys next time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, looking good. Put that baby back in there, look at him. He's strong, too. Chisel. Looks like you weren't, weren't even here. Ah. There we are. Planters intact. Looks like we got won't have these guys bitching at me anymore. Hot on material. Not too bad. We had Admiral come out today. Did a great job. Got here this morning. Cured the situation. No more uh, toilets back flowing. 
tore out a big giant pipe, did some other stuff. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on plumbing. I've never done it, but these guys have. Don't forget that. Tally He's been doing or it Dave? longer. He's been doing it a lot longer than me. All right, these guys can come to your house and within 10 minutes they can change your toilet out. They're only gonna charge you a thousand bucks. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's it. You want that speed, you're gonna pay. <laughs> if you want us in and out, that's gonna cost you. You want it done slower, it's another different situation. All right, he's tabulating the, the score here. It looks like it could be ugly. Hopefully it'll be won't be as big big toilet a toilet in ten minutes. That's fast, ten minutes. I, I I put one in, it took me all day. That's about <laughs> and three trips to Home Depot. What are they? Good one, seven fifty installed, seventy five dollars a minute. So seven fifty installed. Does that include the toilet, though? Yeah, for a good one. Oh, good one. Yeah.